Thanks for tuning in at Brackies. Hello everyone and welcome to video number 10 in Make a Game, a cool series on making a video game in Unity. So today we are going to be uh, making the score system uh, for our players. So every time we pick up a coin, we are going to see some GUI on the screen. It's not going to be fancy, but it's going to be there that will display the score. So let's just go ahead and dig right into it. So as always, I've opened up Unity. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to first off select our coin. And uh, no, you know what, let's, uh, th because there are two parts to this process. The first is, uh, of course, the coin we have to, uh, to actually change a variable. Um, but it's a good idea to store this variable not on the coin itself, because we will have multiple coins spread out the entire scene. And so instead, we could just make a uh, master game object that will have this variable and that will also take care of the uh, GUI. Uh, and then we can just access that variable and change that. So that's what we're going to do. So first off, let's make this master object. So let's go into game object and hit create empty or press control shift N. That's of course command shift N if you're on a Mac. And let's go ahead and call this underscore GM. And again, the reason why I put an underscore is so that it will stay on top of the hierarchy. Let's just position all of this uh, by zero, zero, zero. That's just general good practice. And let's go ahead and add a new component, new script of type JavaScript. And let's call this game uh, master. Hit create an ad and let's double click it to open it up in mono develop. There we go. Oops, this is just some of our previous scripts. So if I zoom in on this, we can go ahead and get started. So first off, we of course want a variable and this variable is going to be var. Uh, and then we're going to call it uh, current score. Um, it, it's, I'm just going to call it this because we might also want like a high score, a master score. Okay, let's call this a uh, current score like this. And let's make this equal to, first off, it's an integer. And let's make it equal to zero by default. And uh, what we can go ahead and do is we can make this into a variable we can access from other scripts. And we do this by typing static in front of var. So uh, it's a static variable, meaning that we can access it from all scripts. Uh, cool. So that's basically all we're going to do in here. Uh, what we would do next is we are going to change this function to on GUI because every uh, GUI element is made in the on GUI function, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about the uh, GUI system in a sec. First off, let's just make this variable actually change. So uh, you will notice that we can't see this in the inspector. So what we can just simply do is um, go ahead and make a function uh, that will uh, allow us to see it in the inspector because static variables are invisible. And we would like to just know if it's changing. So to easily display it, let's just make a normal variable that will that will be shown in the inspector and make it equal to the current score uh, variable. So let's just call this uh, test and make it default to zero. And then in the function update, we'll just say test equals current score and round it off. And now we should see a variable here that is zero by default, try again, uh, wait for it to pop up. We should see it in just a sec. It's having trouble showing. Hmm, and I can't select other objects. It looks like I might need to quickly restart Unity because something has gone horribly wrong with the inspector here. It's just, yeah. I'm just quickly gonna reopen up Unity. So give this a reboot. I'm sorry, but if this is enough, I, I it's I don't want to cut it out. So let's see if it's working now. 
and select our GM and there it was. So we have the variable now. Uh, I don't know why it acted so weird. Uh, and I don't know why I can't dock it over here as I want it to. We can go under the layout and just uh, select default. Great, so now that everything is back to normal, let's just go ahead and see uh, what this variable does. Right now, it simply stays zero no matter what we do because we need to find our coin and double click the coin pickup script and in here we need to change the score. So uh, we can see that we first off add this effect, then we tell the effect to destroy after three seconds and then we destroy the game object. And we've even added a add coin counter here, debug.log. So we know that this is where we need to do it in our code. So let's just delete that. And now we can go ahead and make the coin counting. So it's very simple. Uh, first off, you give the name of the script that the variable is stored in. And remember, we can only do this because we've made it a static variable. So that's called game master. Then we say dot, and then we can just uh, type in the variable name which is current score and then we can set it to something uh, but we won't just set it to a fixed value we want it to be one more than before so therefore we do plus equals say plus equals oops uh, which will add on the number right after it onto its current value and then we do one because we only want to uh, add one. You can you could make coins that are worth let's say uh, ten scores uh, if it's a huge coin that's hard to get or if it has another color or something. Uh, and then what you simply want to do is you want to make a variable called um, let's say coin value and make this default to one. And then you can change the it in the uh, inspector and instead of one here we'll just do coin value. Actually, let's just leave that in. That's handy to know if we want to make cool power-ups or something. Great, so let's see if it's working. So what we can do is we can select our GM and now observe our test variable to see if it changes. And it certainly does. It changes to one. So now that we know that this is working, we can go ahead and delete our test. We can delete the function update and we can make our first DUI. Now, uh, GUI is a pretty serious discussion in uh, in Unity. Uh, basically, Unity have been promising a new uh, GUI uh, layout system something for so long as I can remember. <laughs> um, but it should hopefully be done in the near future. Uh, but the specifics we really don't know. And the reason why everyone is so longing for this is that the current system is, well, to say it out clearly, uh, really bad. Uh, so basically, there are several ways to do G uh, GUI as is. You can do it completely through scripting, which is what we are going to do, because this is the uh, quickest and easiest way. You can also do it using uh, an in-game thing that Unity have made called... Uh, it's the, if I can see if I can even find it, it's the GUI, uh, GUI texture. But that's not really a viable option either. And uh, GUI is just hard on the computer. Uh, though if you are willing to pay for a uh, good GUI, there is a plugin called NGUI. That's just NGUI like this on the Unity Asset Store. And it is a little expensive, but it's in insanely uh, uh, well done. And uh, most professionals use it around the world. Uh, and it's the same guy who made this plugin who is currently working on the solution for, uh, for Unity. But until all of this gets cleared out, let's just use the good old uh, uh, GUI system. So in the function on G uh, GUI, where all the GUI code gets called, let's type uh, GUI dot, let's do a label. And uh, we can see that a label first off wants a position, then it wants some text. So what we can do is we can first off get it, uh, give it the position. So let's do uh, new rect like this and open this up. So new rectangle. And in here we want to do a screen dot height. And uh, let's do times 0 
0.5 comma screen dot width. Uh, you could also just do divided by two. That's up to you. And let's close this off and then comma and then the string name. And this is just going to be a uh, score and uh, then close it off and end it up with the parentheses or uh, a semicolon, of course. So now when we try to hit play, we get some errors. Uh, first off, we can see that I've spelled height wrong. That's annoying. Uh, height like that. And let's see if this works. Right, so uh, it says that it doesn't match the argument list. And uh, this is because uh, we need to use a gui.box, of course. Uh, so we make a new rectangle. And uh, in here, we also need to declare the sizes. So we need to do, let's try 200 by 200 at first. Uh, so now it should be working. And yes, it is. And before, uh, let me just show you what it looks like and then explain the code. So now we can see the score is down here. And it's in a very weird position. And let me explain what's going on. So basically, first off, we uh, say to uh, make a new rectangle. First, the position on the X. So this actually needs to be width. Then the position on the Y. So this needs to be height. And then the uh, size on the X. And then the size on the Y. And using screen death width, we can make it in the center by simply saying that we uh, we start in the left hand corner, then we go all the way to the right with uh, our screen width, and then we just take half of that so that's in the center. So I'm just gonna do divide it by two here because I get distracted, and uh, it does the same with the height, and this way it should now be in the complete center. So if we hit play. It's not really. And why is this? Well, Unity orients itself using the top left corner. So what's currently in, 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 the, uh, in the center is the top left corner of our GUI element. But we want the middle of the GUI element to be in, um, in the middle. Uh, and this is, this is logical. So what we can simply do is we can subtract half the width and half the height, and so uh, the middle of our GUI element will be in the actual middle. Um, but before we do this, it's easy to just make these into variables so that we can change them inside of Unity and don't have to go back into the script all the time. So let's just make these into some variables. So uh, we want them to be in the center of the screen uh, on the width but I want the score to be just a bit from the top of the, uh, the screen. So we don't want this screen.height. Instead, uh, let's make a variable for that. So let's call this um, y offset. Let's call it offset y. And let's just make this a float equal to, let's try 40 by default. Now we can go in here and just type offset y. Then uh, on the x, we are going to do another variable and we are going to call this var size x of type float. And this is going to be equal to about 100. Then we're going to do var size y also of type float. And this is going to be equal to, let's say, 40. Now, if we save this, of course, we need to copy in our actual variables, so size x and size y. We can go into Unity and we can see all of these properties appear and we can change them in here. But you will notice it's still not centered. We'll take care of this in just a sec. This is just to get a general idea. Remember that whenever you tweak something it, while in play mode, the changes will disappear as soon as you stop playing. So either you have to note them, there is a handy plucking on the S in store too, uh, or just uh, remember them. So I'll try to make the Y something like 20, uh, 25, 25 is pretty good. And the Y is probably fine because we want to add in some, uh, some numbers too. We could do something like 90 instead. 
actually we can go all the way to 80 i think that's fine so uh, 80 or 90 and uh, the offset y i'm pretty satisfied with that so 80 and 25 so stop playing and change this to 80 and this to 25. Uh, now we can go in here and we can just use these variables to subtract from. So on the screen.width, we can simply say minus and then we can do size x and then divide it by 2. And now when we save this and hit play, the score is in the exact center because we have subtracted half of our x value. Now let's make uh, this actually show our score, because right now it just says, says score. So let's make uh, it score, colon, and then a space. And then outside of these parentheses, you need to say plus current score. And if you don't want it to say anything, but only display the number, you have to have these two parentheses, but without anything in between. So you still have to leave them there. But I wanted to say the score. So now we hit play and it says score is zero. When we roll into a ball, it says score one and we have a beautiful label there to display the score. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.